Within this hour, the latest developments on a story that we've been following throughout the weekend. Hamden County Sheriff Nick Kochi facing a judge for the first time today after being charged with operating a vehicle under the influence of alcohol. Thanks for joining us here on Western Mass News at noon on ABC 40. I'm David Horwitz, Western Mass News reporter. Matt Price live in studio with those details. And Matt, as we understand this, it was a quick appearance today. Is that right? That is exactly right, David. This appearance lasting between one and two minutes as Sheriff Kochi is now facing some legal trouble himself. Western Mass News was in Hamden Superior Court shortly after 9 o'clock this morning as Sheriff Kochi was arraigned. He is standing behind his lawyer there. Uh, this all stems from an incident that occurred just outside the MGM Springfield Casino Saturday evening. Exact details have not been released, but Kochi has been charged with operating a vehicle while under the influence of alcohol. He was released on his own recognizance. This morning, Kochi's lawyer entered a not guilty plea on behalf of his client. After his appearance, Sheriff Kochi spoke to members of the media outside the courthouse, taking full responsibility for his actions and expressing regret for his actions. In today's political life, so many people want to point fingers and push blame onto others. I wasn't brought up that way. I was brought up, and nor do I act that way in my personal or my professional life. So today, I take full responsibility for what happened this past Saturday. Sheriff Kochi also says he looks forward to moving forward with the sheriff's office and to continue to do the hard work that others in the department do every day for the county. He then walked away from the microphones and did not take questions following his remarks, telling us he had to go back to work. Kochi is expected to be back in court on October 29th. More on this developing story coming up later today on Western Mass News. For now, reporting live in the studio, Matt Price, Western Mass News.